Hello and welcome to episode 6, this is Edrald. As you can see I've done some changes in my base, the generator is now in the middle and there's an extractor here and a compressor and the macerator and the electric furnace are now placed next to each other like that and that works as well, the macerator is still outputting into the furnace and the furnace is, is still getting input from the top. Uh, additionally I've added a transposer here to this chest and I've made it my uh, input chest, anything I put it here will be uh, sorted according to my uh, teleposers. Now the generator has a cable in the back that is connected to the other machines and um, I wanted it like that because I wanted to leave the bottom empty so because I want to make the input of charcoal here automated so I'm gonna work on that on this episode and once I figure out exactly how I wanna do it I'll, I'll get started so I'll see you in a little bit so after much thinking I have an idea of what I wanna do I'm gonna make additional teleposers, I went mining um, between last episode and this one and I'm gonna get myself um, 8 more teleposers Diamond, redstone, iron, and transport conduits. Where is my crafting table? Apparently, I have taken off my crafting table and I did not replace it. Alright, and now I want to place one down here. Okay, uh, blue on top and on the bottom is red I think yeah okay light blue on top and red on the bottom but I don't want the bottom I want this side oh yeah pink and light blue so output is light blue and input is pink and then is it night yes it is alright in the morning I'm gonna connect that to my network and then uh, I'm gonna craft a whole new item I hope I have the materials because I'm I'm not actually sure um, what it um, what you need to craft it. All right, um, that could be a challenge. Perfect. And here would be okay. Doesn't really matter because I'm going to put uh, grass here. Um, Alright, and I just need to put the input is here, oh yeah, so input is going to be um, charcoal. This is important. And also important is to get a chest here and make it the charcoal chest. I'm gonna make this chest a charcoal chest. It makes sense because there's already coal in there. Light blue, blue. Um, all right, charcoal, redstone, lapis, coal. Alright, um, now let's see if this works. Seems to be working. Now I can label this chest, uh, this teleposer, with um, charcoal provider on the input, which is connected to the network. And then I'm gonna craft myself the new block, which is a dislocator. 
and I do have the materials to craft it, I just need to crush some gold. And 10 redstone, 1 diamond, 2 of those pipes, and 4 iron. Alright, I'll be back when this is done. Alright, so one more thing I want to do is uh, change the output of the electric furnace to the bottom by shift clicking with a wrench and uh, connecting it to the network by means of a teleposer because otherwise it's gonna go into the catch-all chest by default and that's not what I want so light blue is the top and pink is over there if I remember correctly and I'm not sure why this is here but oh. Oh yeah, I don't know why that happened. In and out on the other side. Um, Alright, so that's fixed. And so when the wood comes in here, then if it makes charcoal, the charcoal is going to go into my uh, charcoal chest. And from there, uh, the dislocator is going to move it into the network. So let's get myself... Um, the uh, dislocator. Perfect. Now what does this block do? Well it's pretty easy. First you connect it anywhere on the network and um, I'm gonna need a timer on it because it works on um, pulses and you want to make sure the color that's uh, connected to the network is the one that's selected inside like that and then you say uh, search label is where you're gonna search so I wanted to search in the charcoal provider label which is where my charcoal is and I want to eject it into the charcoal label which is um, where the generator is and I want to say um, move let's put 8 charcoal each time from the charcoal provider teleposer to the charcoal uh, teleposer now the only thing with this block is that it needs a um, redstone pulses to work so I'm gonna figure out how to make a redstone timer and we'll be back so I've crafted myself a, a comparator with some uh, applied energistics quartz and that should give me a nice timer. If I put it like this, add your redstone in here and uh, turn it on and put a lever here. Perfect. And now the charcoal should move from uh, here as long as there's eight of them into the um, generator. Let's give it some power. Is there space even? Alright, I'm gonna check what's wrong and I'll be back. So it seems like the comparator timer is way too fast. So I got myself a repeater and I'm gonna try another vanilla design that I found out about in YouTube. And it's built like this. Now let's see if that works. 56 here. And if we put it back, it's going down. And I'm guessing it's moving it in here. That's perfect. Now the next step is going to be to um, automate the wood I'm collecting going into the uh, furnace input chest. So that's what I'm going to think about next and I'll be back when I got some ideas. Alright, I'm changing some connections here so I'll have uh, free space. So I'm going to connect my input chest which is um, normally going here 
through these cables I'm gonna change the cables to the top and I'll just you know use a little bit more cable but then I'll be able to have the, the space where I need it and it's night so I better sleep Uh, so between the last cat and this one, I actually went ahead and following the, following the advice of a, a commenter, I um, installed, I put the world folder of, of Minecraft, of my saves, into a run disk and I think it's uh, improved um, frame, frames per second a little bit. So thank you, um, commenter, and you know, it's actually running pretty nicely. And maybe you guys will notice a difference that, you know, let, let me know. Alright, so the cables go up. Now I want to cover everything, make it look kind of nice. Um, and this space is also free, so I don't know if I'm ever going to use it for anything, but we'll see. And now I also need these ones to connect to the network through this um, cables here. Perfect. And just need to connect this to everything. Oops. Um, there's one here. And that's fine. I can. Oops. This space is still free. And there you have it. Perfect. And I can just make this connect input um, to the top. And then it can go through to here. Hmm. Alright. And this will connect here. Okay, I'm not going to cover it just yet because um, I want to see it working first. Another thing I want to do is um, I discovered that the charcoal that um, the electronic furnace is processing is actually going to the check chest next to it because of the teleposter. It's not actually, doesn't have, actually have the output side to the chest, it's just it's going to the network and the teleposter is here is grabbing it. And why isn't this one grabbing it? Uh, it's because it has a label of charcoal provider, so it will only accept items that have an output of that same label. Uh, since the furnace is also processing other things, then uh, I can't really change the output to that. Because if I were to like smell some ingots, I don't want them to end up in, the ch in this chest. And I try to uh, put a long bar here, a vertical bar, and an asterisk. And the asterisk would normally stand for everything. Um, you know, and I thought that would work, but uh, there's, I, I reported this to the developer, there seems to be a bug and it doesn't quite work yet, the, the dislocator stops sending uh, items to here if um, stops working with this label, the charcoal provider label, if I put, uh, you know, another label so for now, what I'm gonna do to solve that is put another teleposer here with the same, um, not the same, it's gonna take input from the chest so the charcoal ends in this chest and then this teleposter takes input from the um, chest and outputs into the network but only charcoal and with the uh, label charcoal provider and now all the charcoal in here should go into the um, Oh wow. Well. Blue Creeper. Why is there a Blue Creeper right there? Well, that's a mob from Ars Magica, which is also something that I did during the um, cut. I added Ars Magica, which, since code chicken core updated, I can um, have it. And this Creeper is gonna destroy me. Come on, Creeper. Let's bring the fight to the top of the mountain. 
let the heavens be witness to our epic battle. Yeah! Shit! What the heck is that? <laughs> uh, alright. I'm guessing uh, that could have been fatal to me. So yeah, Earth Magic is a pretty cool mod. I don't know much about it, but uh, it adds a ton of content. And it gives you a mana bar, which I can toggle in my inventory to see how much mana I have. And the amount of mana depends on my level as a mage, which uh, depends on the experience I use. But anyway, I'll be... Um, I want to dedicate at least one episode or, or two to it at some point. And let's see if this is working. Um, I got the charcoal here. It's going up. And this should work. It should take charcoal from the green side, the chest, and put it into the charcoal provider. Let's say I got eight charcoal almost there. Ah no, it's gone. But this is funny because um, is it gone here or is it gone into the furnace? Now why don't we test that? Now there's um, 64 here. Let's move 8. Okay, 11 is not moving. What if I take this off? And take off all of the charcoal here. Off. No, doesn't seem like it. What if I put all of the charcoal here? Will it move it to the uh, charcoal chest at some point? Oh, yeah, there you have it. Perfect. Alright, so that's working and that's just perfect. Now I need to move the wood to the um, chest. So let's do that. I'm just gonna cover the house and I'll be back. Alright, so this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get a teleposter here which will uh, out um, input um, from the network so input at um, teal and output at this side which is green and the output goes into the furnace chest so output is perfect I think yeah that's the only shade of green so now it's receiving power you know I could have connected it straight to the chest but then it wouldn't get the power from the network and now I'm going to put teleposters um, just like this. And the only issue here is that I, um, since it, this is a solid block, I won't be able to access the chest. So I'm thinking I'm rather going to do it here. And maybe try to convince Imnibis to change that behavior. Um, so this takes input from the chest. And I'm gonna say uh, input is wood, I mean output is wood. And put a piece of wood here, which I do not have right now. So let's get myself a piece of wood. I really need an axe because that's kind of silly. Alright, so output wood of the jungle type with the level wood. And this guy accept only wood of any label or just wood alright so accept wood of label wood and this one outputs wood into the light blue of uh, label blue so this should work now and maybe I need to put uh, more than one just like before Do I have any left? Mm, nope. Alright. Do I have an axe? Yes. Let's get some wood. And... There's my theory. Alright. Eight pieces should be fine. Or even ten would be better. Takes input from the chest, outputs into the network. 
doesn't seem to be working. This one takes input from the top. And output outputs into the green. Um, Alright, I'm gonna see what's wrong and I'll be back. And of course the network was out of power. As soon as I uh, turn on the engine, the wood started appearing. So now my generator will basically receive, receive um, wood forever. And then I would also like to uh, input wood into these guys as well. And then I'll have a self-sustaining system that will also get me some wood. And the vines, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. But um, I'll find a use for them. Alright, all the wood is getting outputted into the other chest. Perfect. I can still walk over here. Alright, I'll be back in a bit. Alright, so I've decided to craft myself a shovel because I want to replace the floor of my house and additionally probably at a second floor, a basement if you will. Um, so I'm gonna use tin Tinker's Construct and I'm gonna try to get myself a uh, fast shovel and uh, oh yeah, where's my crafting table? Perfect. Slimy mud. Let's melt it. And get myself um, a uh, slime crystal. Perfect. Now the shovel head needs uh, the shovel head here and a handle. A handle I already have. Just need a pattern for a um, shovel head. So let's get that going. There you go. Now just as usual put the patterns in here. Slime crystal here. I can leave this here for another tool and the head. I'm gonna make it out of iron as usual. Now eventually I will wanna use better um, materials but I'm not there quite yet. Alright, so I just craft it like this. Oops. Perfect. Reinforce one and I can probably upgrade it with some speed. So I'm gonna upgrade it to um, how many modifiers do I have in total? Three modifiers. Um, I think I'm gonna use um, yeah, so at least two modifiers of speed. So once I'm, I'm done with that, I'll come back. And a hundred, and I'm gonna name it The Undertaker. Let's see how fast this shovel uh, digs. Wow, that's super fast. That's just perfect. So I'm gonna replace all of the floor of my house with dirt. And I wanna make a second floor in which I can probably um, transfer um, energy units from industrial craft and use them in some special machines which I have planned to build in the future. And since I'm running off space here, then uh, you know, basement is the perfect uh, thing to do. I suppose the cobbles should be the same as the walls, the uh, floor should be the same as the walls. Plus, this has the advantage that um, mobs won't, uh, animals won't spawn. Oops. Uh, what did I do here? Alright. 
That's a little bit fast. I'm loving this shovel. Super fast. In the next episode, I might build a new block that is going to help me with uh, creeper invasions. Um, it's called... Well, I guess you'll have to see in the next episode, because uh, I might not end up doing it until later. It's kind of expensive. But what it does is it zaps mobs. So you can put it, like for example, in my new basement which I'm gonna make and then it's gonna throw lighting at mods for just uh, some um, energy not too much, just a little bit alright, I think I'm gonna put a ladder in here now I of course wanna build below the um, timer so I'm not sure at what level I have to build okay so the timer is one level over here and I need the timer needs this floor um, so if I'm uh, if I'm standing at 70 standing at 70 right now then 79, I mean 69, 68, 67 yeah I think I should be standing at 67 and then I'll be fine now why don't we actually test it there you go, 60, 67 I can make a floor just need some ladders here and what height am I standing on? 69, 68, 67 alright I just wanna make sure it's the same size as this thing maybe I can use the chunk visualizer hmm. don't think that'll help me much and this is how much height at all Four tall, perfect. So I want to make this this basically be the same space as the room above it. And of course I want to light it up because no one likes mobs. All right, so I guess I'll mine for a bit and you know make the room and I'll be back check out my beautiful room and next episode um, my plan would be to mine resources some more and then build that contraption which will allow me to kill all of those uh, nice creepers so uh, I think this is a good time to wrap up the episode I'll, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching as usual and I'll see you next time